Hey everybody, it's William Naylot here, the Paradise Guy. And I'm Christina. Hey, welcome to another adventure. We've got something very exciting planned for you today. We are headed to Playa Tangalunda. And Playa Tangalunda is part of the Bahia Tangalunda, or Tangalunda Bay. That is also located in the hotel zone of the Watulco area. So we're gonna go and check out the beach itself. We're gonna take a look at the resorts that are on the beach and you know, just take and see. All right, you're gonna love this. Stay tuned to the very end. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. We'll see you on the beach soon. Okay, so as you enter the hotel zone, it's a very beautiful area, everything's well manicured, and it's real easy to miss your turnoff because it comes up suddenly and boom, here it is in slow motion so you can see it. It says Playa Tengolunda. Now there's a dirt road that gives you access to where you actually have to hike in to this beach. So, you know, we're going to speed it up here a little bit so that we can get down the road a little quicker than the actual time that it took. But you'll notice that it's a, it's a well-maintained road, well-traveled, but it is a bit bumpy. And uh, if you walk this, especially in the early mornings or the late evenings, you're going to notice there are lots of mosquitoes. So uh, be sure to bring your repellent with you if you have to walk in. Now here we are pulling up to the entrance to the walking path that leads to the beach. And once we're here, we kind of make sure we've got everything, we're settled, and we're ready to go, and there is the path to Nirvana. All right, so here we are, totally equipped. Baby, camera equipment, towels, beverage, and we're ready to go into an amazing beach here. It's called Tengolunda, and Tengolunda is a very steep, a little bit coarse sand type of beach with big waves usually, but generally hardly anybody here and it is absolutely spectacular as far as its beauty. So we're going to take the hike in here and take you with us. So stay tuned. You're going to love this. All right. So here I've got our trusty beach tent and our trusty beach tarp somewhere underneath that. Baby stuff, purse stuff, and of course the requisite backpack full of goodies, drinks and stuff. And here we go. Let's go. So excuse the bumpy ride down this trail. It's only about a five minute little hike in, but there is a little obstacle course, which you're gonna be amused when you see. It's actually a bunch of tires with sandbags that they've set up to uh, make it easier to walk in, especially in muddy conditions. However, what we found is that these tires really end up being more of an obstacle than um, assistance. So um, check them out, we're almost there.
conquered this epic trek to the beach. Now, the reward. That's a big trigger fish. Okay, we've made it to our campsite, for lack of a better word. A place where we're gonna perch and enjoy the beautiful view. And of course, hopefully get out in the water just a little bit and not drown. Okay, so rumor has it that those guys over there are enjoying the last sucker that went out there in the water and tried to swim. I still think I'm gonna try it. I hope I get to see you guys again. Hi, Daviva. What you doing? Huh? What a cool spot you got here. There's a couple things you got to know about Tagalunda. Tagalunda is a very steep beach. So I don't know, if you look back behind me, you can see there's a bit of a slope here. The waves here are generally larger than other beaches. It's what I call a borderline beach. Sometimes you can swim here, other times you're taking your life in your own hands. So maybe something to consider when you come here. If you're a really strong swimmer, you're familiar with waves and undertow and rip tides and things of that nature, Go on in, swim your butts off. But if you're not, you might want to be a little bit cautious here at Tagalunda. So if you look over there, you'll see a couple resorts across the water that just by their location have private beaches. Now there's no such thing in Mexico as a private beach, but if your resort is on the beach and the only access to that beach is through your resort, you can technically deny people access to the beach through your resort. However, if I pull up on a boat, I can go sit on those beaches all day long. Now, if you look all the way down this beach, this is a big, long beach, you'll notice there's nobody here. Now, granted, it is a Monday afternoon, and certainly that's going to be less than a Saturday or a Sunday, but many of the beaches here in the Huatuco area, of which there are 36, there are very sparse populations of people and or tourists that are occupying them. So you really feel like you're on an undiscovered oasis, a, a hidden paradise, and it's really a great feeling.
But like the famous Van Halen song goes, I got my toes in the sand, I got a drink in my hand, and well, all I need is a beautiful girl. Certainly got that. And of course, I've got vultures on the beach because there's no people. How awesome is that? Look at this view we've got from our tent. We literally have this amazing beach to ourselves. All right, now I have to be honest here. I'm trying to act brave and act like I'm gonna go out and conquer the ocean here. But you know, I have to say I'm a little bit trepidatious because these waves are big. Uh, in Belize, the waves were very, very small and the current was very, very weak. Here, um, I'm not quite sure what to make of this because um, as you're being smashed towards the shore, you're being pulled with the undercurrent out to sea. And then you've got the riptides working on you to take you out to sea and drown you. So you have to really be careful on these beaches. I know I'm making fun of it, but it really does require um, a degree of safety awareness. So be careful when you head out in these waters. I finally made it. I'm out here in the ocean. Now I just have to jump over the incoming swells as they break upon the shore. And well, I think I've had just about enough of that. So very soon here, I'm gonna just head the heck back in and get on the beach and we'll have a beer. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do on the beach, right? coming out, there's one coming in. You can get crushed at any time. So you understand waves before you ever try to swim at this beach. It's really quite difficult. So as you can see, we're in our comfy blue beach tent. It actually really does come in handy um, for you know protecting us from the sun and also maybe sometimes when it's windy, sand blowing in our faces. You'll notice though today, it is not facing directly the beach. Um, normally we would be facing the beach because hello view, right? Uh, but today the wind is actually really strong here at Bahia Tangalunda. And so if we did face that away, um, yes, our view might be a little bit more direct, a little better, but this here tent would be falling on us because it is um, not the strongest structure in the world, which of course is the trade-off to make it easier to carry. What you doing? What you what you doing? Cracker eating, cracker eating girl. Huh? Did you have some sandwich and some cracker? Yeah, I like my sammies. Are you a big sa a sandwich shot? Yes, you are. You like your sandwich and your crackers? Okay, so while swimming may not be the activity of the day here, you never get tired of hearing these waves wash up on shore, seeing the beauty of them splashing against the rocks over here. And of course, the serenity of looking down a beach like that, which is relatively empty. I love the fact that every day when we decide to go to the beach here in the Watuco area, we've got choices. What are we looking for? Are we looking for swimmability and maybe a little bit more festive atmosphere? Are we looking for tranquility and peace and quiet and maybe um, a little bit more loneliness <laughs> for the day, for lack of a better word? Um, it really doesn't matter what you're looking for. You can even take a boat and get out and go to many other beaches which are only boat access and or they're difficult to get to by land which give you even more solitude. So, I don't know. Every time we go to another beach here in Huatuco, I fall more and more in love with this place. I think it's absolutely spectacular and I can't wait to show you more of it. So I would be remiss if I didn't ask you guys to subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying this video. Make sure you give this video a like because it helps the channel grow and reach other people 
that might be interested in this sort of information. And of course, make sure to turn on notifications so that you'll be notified of all our upcoming videos. I promise it'll be worth it. Here on the beach in Tagalunda, you have these beautiful palapas, which are awesome. They're part of the beach, they're permanent structures, they are public. However, this chair that I'm sitting in right now, this nice lounger, is not. It actually belongs to that resort. So they put these chairs out for their guests or people that will pay for them, and then you're allowed to sit in them. So, shh, right now, I'm sitting for free. On a personal level here. Um, when I was younger, my parents would always get these big stacks of uh, travel brochures. They liked to go on vacation where they could, uh, and they liked to go to Mexico quite frequently. I used to flip through these brochures, and uh, I would see Huatulco. It was sort of up and coming when I was younger, and my dad always talked about wanting to go to the Huatulco area, but finding it a little bit more expensive uh, back in those days than um, some of the other destinations like Cancun or Acapulco or Puerto Vallarta or whatnot. Um, but he always said he really wanted to go there. And for some reason or other, they ended up doing other things like going on cruises, but they never really got to Huatulco yet. And yet here I am. Um, it is, of course, a lot more affordable, I think, relatively speaking, than it was them. Uh, then. At least I'm finding it so. And I really enjoying the, the feel of the place and I'm also a little bit bittersweet, wistful that um, my parents can't be here with me right now because they're older and I think uh, they'd really enjoy it but I'm hoping one day that we can all meet up here in the not too distant future. Um, when I do remember those travel magazines, uh, the beach that does seem to be the one that I think they picture the most often was this one, Tangalunda, and so I'm feeling a little sentimental. And with all these thoughts and memories on my mind, of course I decided to go and take a walk discovering the beautiful beach that is Tangalunda, as are these beautiful people. I thought we were alone, but no, there were other people here, and yes, why? Because there are resorts, of course. This is Marcelo. It is a beautiful all-inclusive resort. There are all-inclusive resorts a lot in Mexico. They include your flight, your food, your drinks, your activities even, your hobby crafts, things like that. So. A uh, good deal if that's what you like. If you want to just stay on the resort and have everything there for you, that's what an all-inclusive caters to. And they do it really well. And as you can see, it's a beautiful property, great beachfront real estate, beautiful sky today on top of it. And yeah, that view. Here we see people just enjoying the beautiful pools. I mean, they, they don't leave anything to chance at these resorts. So. On this beach, there are actually quite a few. This is Dreams, that's at the far end. But there is also Barcelo, like we were just looking at before. And then there's Quinta Real and Las Prisas at the other extreme. So this is the hotel zone of Tangalunda Bay, or Bahia Tangalunda. And here I am just sort of sneak peeking into <laughs> the lives of the people who are experiencing all that fun. What they do do, uh, some of them, uh, you have to call them in advance and see if they're offering it on any given day, is day passes. So if you're staying here and you're not staying at one of the resorts, you might be able to at least pay for the day and enjoy the facilities. And yeah, look at that. Big, expansive properties. And that sun today, absolutely perfect. That means sunscreen, of course. Really important, have learned the hard way over my lifetime. And viva, I have come back to my little beautiful daughter. So in these videos, you're gonna see lots of equipment that we use to make our beach time much more enjoyable. Like this tent, like that baby carrier, like this awesome can koozie, uh, and much, much more. So if you're interested in any of these products, um, we highly recommend them, by the way. We will put links down in the description so that you can click on those. And yes, we make a dollar or two when you do so, and we thank you for that because it does help to support our channel 
and it helps us continue to bring you this valuable and interesting, hopefully, information. So now is the point in the video when I actually go on a bit of a diatribe. Uh, I get to pontificate a little bit about lifestyle and life choices and life by design. You see, I believe each of us have choices in our life of what we want to do, where we want to go, how we want to live, and what we value most in life. Uh, for myself and us, we desire a uh, lifestyle. Um, you know, I I've lived a life where I've had very nice things, cars, watches, houses, um, lived a very traditional uh, success-oriented life. But I decided, you know, about seven years ago that I wanted something completely different. I wanted to get off the grid, go experience something I never had before. I mean, I lived in the desert. I lived in the mountains of Colorado. I lived in California, New Mexico, Arizona, all sorts of different places that were very beautiful. But I'd never lived in the Caribbean. I never lived on the beach. And I wanted to go to some places or places where I could actually get in the water, where it wasn't so cold. Um, I wanted some place where the cost of living was low. I wanted some place where I didn't have a bunch of stuff, where I could be mobile. I could go from place to place to place very easily. Where stuff didn't own me, I owned whatever stuff I chose to own. And so for us, it's worked out uh, very nice. This is a, a great lifestyle. It's not for everybody. Um, and we've tried to figure out different ways to, to make income, different ways to uh, live um, below our means, which is easy to do, especially in Mexico. Belize is a little bit more expensive, um, and we couldn't be happier. So if you have questions about how you can actually make your dreams of living outside of the USA or Canada or Europe or wherever you might be, in some exotic or paradise-like location, please hit us up at info at paradiseguy.com. Let us advise you, let us tell you what we've learned, what to do, and definitely what we've learned not to do. Uh, these are valuable lessons. They're worth tons of money in time and of course, monetary savings. So with that, um, look forward to hearing from you soon. Again, info at paradiseguy.com. But hey, don't forget about Facebook and Instagram. Look me up at The Paradise Guy on Facebook and The Paradise Guy on Instagram. Be sure to follow, give our posts a like, and by all means, put your comments down below. All right, so one of the most important things you can bring to the beach, well, besides beer, is of course, snacks. What is it? Mm. Chicken salad. So good, so yummy. I like my chicken salad with mustard, mayo, onions, pickles, mm. and this one even has bacon. It's so good, Viva! It's so awesome. I love it. <laughs> mm. Mm. So what you're looking at here is our temporary cranky almost toddler solution. Um, put her in the backpack, she drifts off to quiet sleep and we get a few moments of, wow, she's sleeping. So these waves coming in now are getting bigger and stronger all the time. Not a real good time to be out there swimming, but a beautiful time to be here on the beach, soaking up the sun and listening to the sound of the waves breaking on the shore.
everybody, that concludes our day here at Tangalunda. Yes, another beautiful beach here in the Watukal area. It has been an amazing day. As you have seen from our video, it is fun no matter which beach we go to. Isn't that right? They're all unique. They're all amazing though. They're different. They are. They're all unique and different. It is uh, amazing to have 36 different opportunities here in the Watukal area to experience the beach life. So if you have any questions about that, hit us up at info at paradisesky.com, of course. And with that, my name is William Nayrod. I am the Paradise Guy, and this is... Christina. Yes, and little baby Viva. Well, she didn't last the full session. She's sound asleep. So she says goodbye as well. We look forward to hearing from you guys. We look forward to seeing you down here. And we look forward to helping you live your best life in paradise. Cheers.